So welcome to Let's Review, again. What are we wearing a costume? My Nagisa cosplay from Evangelion. So let's get into it. So, where did I get this cosplay? From AliExpress, uh, a site that's sort of known for uh, either various scams or various cheap items. Like Wish, but somewhat trustable. Believe it or not. And I got this for, well, the last pricing was 125 but I remember a thing I bought it at 109 with free shipping, so that's pretty cool. And also, it is custom uh, fitted to your liking. This is the first cosplay bodysuit I've ever gotten that was custom fitted to my body, and I gotta say, I don't I regret it. Uh, they messaged me on my phone, uh, texting me what's my measurements. I didn't know that on the top of my head, so I just had to Google what size a uh, person of my weight and caliber and height was. And it worked out pretty good. The manufacturer of this cosplay was called Sweat Cosplay. And from what I'm wearing this, and if you can see it, which somewhat you can. I am sweating right now and I just um, put on this costume about five minutes ago so you see where that's come from. As well as um, mainly this cosplay is an interesting bodysuit. On the arms it has some sort of uh, I guess padding or so to get that sweet sweet 3D look. Also comes with this with little buckles, little snapping on it on the back of the suit. Um, you probably would need someone to help you out, which is not too bad. And this costume is pretty detailed with all the little designs from the TV show of Even Jolyon. Now, uh. The material of this suit. This does look somewhat like latex, a shiny material that's pretty popular in the Evangelion community, or bodysuits in general, but this is, I would describe it as a sort of metallic spandex coating on the outside, and on the inside it's a definitely a, a spandex polyester feel, so it's a pretty good uh, trade-off. Only problems are, well, get to the problems later on is I'd say the breathability of the suit because without proper ventilation and or water you can't sweat in this costume when well when conventions are a thing when whatever that would be oh and when I ordered it from AliExpress it did take me I'd say two months or so that was when the pandemic hit and uh, packages from China to the US were kind of getting on hold as well as uh, uh, not even being delivered. I was lucky enough to get his costume in. <clears throat> but even with that delay, it probably would have taken at least a month, a month and a half or so to actually get this made and delivered. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It's not really a cosplay, whereas when you order it, it won't be ready on a weekend of that of that convention, because that buy in advance. Which, for the for the for the design, I'd say definitely worth it. Yeah, for the price tag and for the design and for all the materials, it's definitely worth it. But. If you can't afford this costume, there are definitely other, other alternatives, like, for instance, made out of this, well, this is just a regular black morph suit, but mainly I've seen 3D printed uh, present, uh, morph suits that were uh, like this, with this uh, somewhat of a design, which is darker. So it has more weavability and uh, a cheaper price, which is around $30. So if you want, want to cosplay as Nagisa from Evangelion, that's a pretty good alternative as well. Okay, different location. Uh, one thing to add 
in the middle of this somewhat video is that this suit is also very easy to get inside to. Out of all of the various cat suits, uh, zip up suits like Danny Phantom, Cat Noir, listing various others, this is, oh, and Spider Man, this is by far the easiest cosplay. Um, I can get in and out of without any help uh, and by myself, which is a big plus for this costume. So yeah, um, on to the next clip, whichever clip that is. Obviously with the price tag of one, or if you want to go do a, a casual one, which is I'd say preferable if you um, want comfortability, do that. So mainly. Is this worth it? Like I said before, yes. This is a pretty good cosplay. I'd say link is down in the description below. I'll send it out. Um, oh, one more thing too. These are actually just gloves, uh, which is pretty cool. So I can just take these off. Which I'll just do right now. Take it off. Yes. Is that is that gonna get cut out? Definitely not. But it just goes to show you that your hand uh, is pretty free. You could obviously put it back on. It will still be fastened all together. And yeah, I would say get this cosplay if you uh, really want it. Because it's not exactly a late latex catfish sort of suit, but it's close enough for half the price and for the cool design. So yeah, that's an actual episode of Less Review. So, on our next episode, something else. <laughs>